Hey guys, welcome back to another video at InfoSec Pat. It's been a while since I've made an install video or any kind of video at that. It's been a while. So hopefully everyone's doing okay. And just remember, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. So you can uh, hit that like button so you can, you know, crash the algorithm on YouTube and hopefully we can get some views on this. So we're going to be installing Kali Linux 2022.1 today. We're going to actually do a bare metal install. And I'm going to show you that in a second. And here is some just, you know, a little bit of uh, visual updates that Kali comes with. We're going to be installing the everything. And I want to show you that. I downloaded it and I'll show you where to get it and, and all that good stuff. Just so you don't have to do, you know, app get install, Kali dash, Linux dash, everything I think it is. Or you can just do a quick Google search. But, um. So this is pretty much the new interface, how we're going to install it, and just some information, the sale prompt changes, etc. You guys can check that out once you, you know, once you install it and uh, follow along. So watch until the end. Okay. So this is a new landing page for Kali. We'll see that once it's up and running and all that good stuff. And we can come down here and see the new tools. There's about what? One, two, three, four, five, six, DNSX. Um, email to phone number, so it's an OSINT tool, et cetera, et cetera. You can check them out, okay? And Kali ARM updates, so there's a, there's a few updates there. And then we can see download Kali, so we can hit downloading. We can open up this in another browser window, and we can do bare metal, which you would normally do this if you download the ISO and install it on like directly on your laptop or your desktop. Or you can use a virtual machine. So if you're using, you know, VMware or VirtualBox, this is a pre-built image. We are going to use VirtualBox, but I'm going to go ahead and do a full install. So you can go ahead and here and hit recommended, and then you can come down. Whoops, sorry about that. And then you can come down here and say, you know, what should I download? You can download the installer, 64-bit. If you if you're an Apple user, you would hit the Apple N1. Obviously, I'm not an Apple user, as you can see. I have Windows, so I downloaded this everything, including every tool possible. So, as you see, you need a torrent um, client. So I use you know I use the torrent client. I downloaded it, and it's fully downloaded, and it's right here, as you can see here. It's about almost 10 gigs, so it's a pretty large file. Okay, so let's just minimize everything. Let's open up my VirtualBox. This is what I'm going to be installing it on today. That's fine. I'll update that, update that later. I'll go up to Tools and I'll create a new VM. Okay, so my new VM will be Kali 2022 VM, just so I can differentiate. Okay, so I'll put Linux here. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Linux, and I'll just do other Linux 64 bit. Okay. And I'll assign about eight gigs. That should be fine. I have 32 in here. Okay. So create a new virtual disk. That's perfectly fine. And I want to do a VDI. I want to click next dynamically allocated. So if we say we do an 80 gig drive, it doesn't use that 80 gigs. It's not going to take up that space on your local hard drive. If you do fixed size, this will say, if you say, I want 60 gigs, it's going to give you all that 60 gigs up front. But we're going to do dynamically allocated. Okay. And I want to put a little more than that. I'll put 64 gigs. That should be perfectly fine for me. Okay. And I want to make a few changes before I boot this bad boy up. Okay. I want to go to settings. I want to change a few things. I want to go to display, make this 128 Gigs, I'm only going to have one monitor. That should be fine for me. Storage, this should be good. Audio, should be good. Network. So in my network, I want to go ahead and go to NAT Network and InfoSec Lab Network. I have a few networks here. And if you don't know how to create a network, I think I have a video on that. But I'll show you that briefly in a second. And I do this so I can separate it. As you see on my left-hand side here, I have class, Vulnhub VMs, Windows VMs, AD, Lab. 
So I have a whole bunch of different labs set up, so I want different IP setups, okay? So I want to go ahead and set it up on this network. And if you don't know how to set up the network, you can just go to File and Network Operation. I think Network Operations Manager, I believe. No. Uh, give me one second. Sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh, wait. It's on Tools, Preferences. Sorry. How, how long I haven't done this. Then you go to Network. So let me do that again. So you go to Tools up top, Preferences, and then Network. I use VMware Workstation a lot more. but And then you can just go ahead and hit Add. And then you can see NATA Network. You can double click on this and just put, I want to put YouTube just to, just to uh, differentiate them. YouTube, and I'll just put 10.0.10. .10. I don't think I have a, a network like that. And just hit OK, and then OK. And now I have that new network, OK? So let's go back to the VM. Everything should be golden, good to go. So we can double click on this bad boy. And once we double click on this, we should see a pop-up and then we can go ahead and browse. I believe I have it mounted in here already. No, that's 2021. Okay, I don't, fair enough. So let's add this now. And we're gonna go ahead and add it right here. It went right to the location. So it's 2022.1 installer, everything. Okay, I wanna go ahead and click on that, choose it, start, okay. We'll give this a moment and we can capture it. So if you wanna get out of this, say I'm stuck in here now, you hit on the right side of your keyboard, hit the control and then you're out of it. Okay, let's just make that larger. And all right, so let's click back into it. And we have options here. We have graphical install, install, advanced set options, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just gonna do, I don't wanna waste time, graphical, graphical install. So with this graphical install, it'll go through and give us all the good stuff. All right, let's exit out of that again. And then we'll, we'll get a install in a second. Here we go. I'm not in the Netherlands. I'm, I speak English, so I wanna do English. United States, American English. And we'll continue through in the process. This process should probably take about 15, 20 minutes the whole thing. I did it yesterday and my machine rebooted on Windows updates. As you see on this bottom left hand corner, right hand corner, Windows 11. And I guess like when I clicked out of it, I accidentally hit restart. So I feel pretty dumb, but it is what it is. All right. So now we just have to start the video over. No sweat at all. So I want to do a host name of InfoSec Pat dash VM. I want to do 22 dash VM. Okay, so I can have this version is 22. Okay, we're going to hit continue domain name. I don't need a domain name. Configure my network. So this is my user. I'm just going to put infosec pat. And that's perfectly fine for me. My fancy password. Okay, that should be good. Clock. I'm um, Eastern time, I'm in South Florida, so I should be good here. Now it's gonna detect the disk. This would be the disk of the 64 gigs. And shortly you'll see that. You'll see, I think, I believe on the next page. So I wanna use the entire disk. Hit install and right here is that 68 gig drive. We're gonna hit continue here. And we're gonna go ahead and just use everything in one partition. We're not gonna split the partitions. And just hit finish because we wanna write the changes to the disk. And yes, we want to do these changes. Okay. Sorry about that. Optimize your PC. All right. So we'll give this a moment. This is going to install the base system. Once the system is installed, we should be golden. It's probably going to take a bit because I want to do uh, KDE Plasma. I want to install everything. And you're going to see that shortly with the options in a bit. So we'll get back to that in a sec. Let's just go back to the screen What everything else is, is released. And um, so I wanted to make a video on this as well. So I know like some people ask like, how can you get 
training and, and, and you know all that stuff. There's hack the box out there. There's also something called it's often offensive security, and it's called uh, proving grounds. So proving grounds is a cool, cool place to learn as well. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me play. So you can go to portal.offensive-security. Obviously, I'm already, you know, I'm already a member. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can log in. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was actually. Oh, this must have been a while ago. Uh, let's see. This was. This is something I was working on. So I can actually kill this machine. But let's exit out of here. Yes, I want to terminate the machine. And then here you have a whole bunch of different kinds of machines. You can get warmed up, get to work, try harder. These are different, you know, these are difficulty hard. These intermediate warming up is probably just the easy boxes. And these are, you know, you can spin it up right in the cloud. Like I was working on this one. And you can just click on this little play button. Let's just do that here. Let's see how we're looking over here. Okay, cool. We'll do that in a second. So here, we're gonna go ahead and do the software selection. So I wanna go ahead and do K KDE Plasma. And down here, I wanna do everything. So this is gonna pretty much install every single tool. It's about seven gigs package. This is gonna get all the stuff done for me so I don't have to sit there and wait for it later to install it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And this is gonna go through 3,863 you know, installs. So let's go back here for a second and then I'll pause the video and I will resume once that's done. So like I said, you can go to portal.offensive-security.com, proven grounds, play. And say for example, you want to you know, start one of these bad boys up like I was doing uh, Cybersploit 1. So let's, let me go ahead and duplicate this so I don't lose this. So if I'm in here, right, like if I'm, you can connect to a VPN, which, you know, I like to do, but if you don't have any of that, you can just go right to it. And let's just start, you know, Sunset Decoy, right? You can start it. And once you start it, it'll give you a Kali instance right in the cloud. This is super sweet. This is lovely because some people don't have Kali or don't have the resources to do it. And this is amazing. So you can get that, that hands-on practice um, with, with Kali Linux and you can get it, you know, doing some of these boxes. So, and we'll give this a second. Now we have our Kali and this will give us an IP address in a second. And let's just go ahead and let's allow that's fine. So let's just make that a little larger. And for an example, if I do an if config ETA zero, I'm probably gonna be on that same subnet. Oh, let's make this a little larger. Uh, let's do, okay. So 192.168.51.200. So if we try to ping 192.168.51.85, we should be able to hit it, see? So then we can do like in, let's just sudo su. It's probably gonna be Kali because it's, yep, okay. So now we can do LS. It's pretty much a clean slate. And now you can do nmap, you know, just do an aggressive scan really quick. And 192.168.51.85. And let that do its thing. And it's going to scan this box. And, you know, it's pretty much you can, you know, scan the box, see what's out there. Okay, it's running web services. It's running Apache, you know, blah, blah, blah. So let's just open up. I'm going to stop here uh, once I open up this, this, this web page. And I love that it has the IP right up top because I'm super forgetful with IPs. Let me uh, put this in, dot 85. Okay. So, okay, save that zip. So it looks like it's a file server. So, you know, we can go down this rabbit hole of trying to do this box, but this is not a video about hacking a box or doing any boxes. 
This is about installing Kali Linux, but I just wanted to show you guys the, you know, the offensive security site that you can use, you know, the playground. So let's kill this instance. And this is amazing. So I may start doing some videos on some walkthroughs on some of these boxes. I believe some of these boxes, or maybe all of them, I'm not 100% sure, but the ones I clicked on, they're right on Vulnhub as well. So it's like, if we go on uh, original, you know, DGN3 is right on Vulnhub. So it's a, you know, you know, description is, you know, this machine is a virtual box, well as, you know, VMware compatible, DHP, blah, blah, blah. So I'll give you a little description and you just have to read the root flag. So your, your, your purpose of this one is to get the root flag. Okay. All right. So here we have configuring STDM. So this is a display manager. This is all it is. I usually use light DM. That's just my preference. So I'm just going to use light DM and hit continue. And we'll give this a few moments. I believe now it'll start continuing and if it prompts next, I think after this is going to select the, the bootloader. If I remember correctly, I haven't installed a fresh copy of Kali probably in over six months. So, you know, I don't remember every single, you know, window, every single next. When I click next, what's the next window? I don't do this every day. But um, this is going to go ahead and go through this process. So I'll stop the video here and resume once we get to the next step. All right, guys, thank you. Okay, guys, as I promised, here we go. So install the bootloader. So pretty much to grab bootloader, you need to have this installed. So we're gonna go ahead and put yes here and hit continue. And then where it says enter device manually or use the device that we're gonna be using slash dev slash SDA. This is where we want to install the bootloader in order for our Kali to boot. Let's hit continue and we'll give this a few minutes to run. It shouldn't take much longer after this. It's just gonna start finishing up the, the installation. So let's give this a moment. As we're using VMware, so you see it says installed VMware, or VirtualBox, sorry, I'm so used to VMware, I apologize. So installed VirtualBox guest tools, so it's, you know, X11. <clears throat> but we'll give this a few more minutes and Let's just see what else we got here. So yeah, like I was saying about the offensive security, this is pretty, pretty sweet. And you know, the way you can get to it, I'll, you know, just go to offensive security labs, individual, and you can practice with a team, I'm guessing. Let me practice, I'm guessing for 20 bucks a month. PG practice has all the features of the play plus time, blah, blah, blah. So this is, you know, maybe there's a little more, you know, obviously what's included. Let's see, let's see what's included with this. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I'm guessing you can get SOC 200, Web 200. Maybe you can get like, um, so this is for like the OSCP, Pen 200, PS, uh, PWK. So maybe you get just like a whole bunch of um, different, different kind of stuff. I never paid for it, so I'm not too sure. I just put let me play for free. Oh, right here. And I, and I was saying something about Vulnhub machines before, and look, as it says here, free training with labs, dedicated machines designed by, you know, and submitted by the Vulnhub community. So exactly. So any, everything that's on there is on Vulnhub. So makes sense. Totally. So all these machines that are on here from getting warmed up to get to work, to try harder, they're all on Vulnhub. Okay. So as we can see here, it says finish the installation, continue, hit continue to reboot. So let's hit continue and hopefully it reboots and we can get into Kali Linux and we can get cracking. Let's go ahead and just make this a little larger. Hopefully it'll boot and Kali will boot up. And we can make this big screen and we can log in and all that good stuff. So let's just give this a moment. I remember like backtrack three oh, before I talk about that. Let me, uh, let's log into here, infosec pat and my fancy password. Okay, and this is the new Kali 2022. 
Let's see if I can make it larger and it'll awesome sauce. There we go. So let's go ahead and view this in full screen. We can full screen mode. And this is the new Kali Linux. So let's make this a little larger. We can do sudo su and put my fancy password. I think I fat fingered that. Oh, good. I didn't. All right. So as you can see here, we can do cat etc os release. And then we can see here it's 2022.1. So this is how to get your Kali Linux up and running. And this is the new Kali. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please like, subscribe, share. And this is strictly for like people that never installed Kali Linux before. And if you want to learn how to install it on a virtual box. And I like to use virtual box for a lot of these videos because it's free. And it's easy to download, you know, VMware Workstation Pro, you have to pay for it. So yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Thank you guys.